I'm back in the kitchen with Arzu, who's always dishing up a wonderful meal. She's Thank going you. to show us how to make coriander chicken in phyllo cups. Yes. This is a great appetizer, appetizer. right? Appetizer, yeah, mm -hmm. wonderful. You'll like it. I love appetizers. That's usually what I'm called upon to bring to family gatherings. So okay, I'll take all great. the recipes I can get. Wonderful. So I have my chicken. I cut them in a small pieces. They're from the breast, skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Okay? And then we're gonna melt some. If you can you bring the pan to hot temperature sure. for me? One tablespoon butter and one tablespoon oil. Okay. Then I have my shallots, mild French onions. I have mushrooms. We're gonna be sauteing them together. Then I have my cooked chicken. I just sauteed them again in one tablespoon olive oil and one tablespoon uh, butter mm -hmm. and chop them in a small chunks and I'll be just cutting a little bit more onions for you. Great. And should I add some of that raw chicken in here or the onions uh, going actually first? Actually onions. It's, it's okay. going to go this one then I'll give you more. Then I have my coriander, salt and pepper and chicken broth. And finally, I have mozzarella cheese. Mmm, okay. She said the magic word, cheese. Mmm, cheese, yes. All right, let's just chop a little bit more onions. So, uh, you said shallots are a mild form of yeah, they're, onions. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it, uh, usually you use them in the uh, French cooking. Mm -hmm. A lot of French cooking, they use shallots. They're very mild, very tasty, a little bit more expensive than regular onions. Why is but that? They're really good. I really don't know, hmm. honestly, but I we know it is. We need to get an onion expert <laughs> on here to explain <laughs> us the difference. <laughs> so I'll add Adding more my, shallots? Yeah, two shallots. And then you can add the uh, one cup of chopped all-purpose button mushrooms. Okay. Oh, I'm crying because <laughs> of the shells. Always so. seems to happen. I read them. somewhere, mm -hmm. and I'd like, I, we have to try it out sometime. I read somewhere that if you cut the ends, both ends off of an onion, and then let it sit for a little while before you cut it, that your eyes won't tear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have to remember to try that. We'll try that next time. So our mushrooms and our onions are cooking up real well. They're mixing mm -hmm. together. They're really finely chopped because I think we're remembering that we're, we're going to be putting them into the yeah, little filo we're going to be really putting them in a very small cup. So sorry. I'll give you a little bit more. Okay. Okay. You can saute. And it's like, you know, three to five minutes. Twenty-five? Three to five. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Not twenty-five because we're going to... Also bake them in the oven a little bit more longer. Mm -hmm. So uh, three to five minutes is fine. Then actually let's put our chicken. Our pre-cooked chicken. Yeah, pre-cooked chicken. Okay. Just saute it again, you know, five, six minutes in oil and butter mixture. Excellent. Okay. Can you pour some broth in it? Of course. Mm -hmm. And this is just chicken broth? Yeah, yeah. Half of it probably. I would say that's oh, enough. Half just thing. one third cup of it. Okay. okay. And let's put some one teaspoon coriander. So talk to me coriander. a little bit about coriander. What? Yeah, I love coriander. You know, fresh cilantro is like coriander. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, my head. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very we fresh. I'm, I'm familiar with it in Indian cooking. I think. Uh, yeah, it's a Middle Eastern cooking. Mm -hmm. We use a lot. Mm-hmm. And then a little bit more salt. And the pepper. Do you want to? Do sure. It? Okay. All right. And about how long until these would be all cooked up together? Until they all mix up together. Oh, okay. Then here that I have store-bought phyllo. <gasps> I you know, love so these tiny. Things. Little oh, no. and um, sometimes you can find even little larger ones, but these are fun mm -hmm. to serve. They're great appetizers, They're especially for the holidays. So what we're gonna do? If you wanna bring down here, all right. Mm -hmm. You can put it over here if you like. On the cutting board, yep. Okay. Cutting board. Yeah, I love these little these mm -hmm. little phyllo cups because I filled them with 
Absolutely everything you can imagine, from like uh -huh. a really good gourmet jam mm -hmm. and a little bit of soft cheese. Oh, yeah. everything. Wonderful. Oh, and this chicken and Here mushroom for and you onion. If you oh, thank fill you. With me. <laughs> so, yeah, these are s easier. Do you have any suggestions of other things that can go into little phyllo cups like this? Oh, shrimp, perhaps. Oh, that would and be wonderful. Or, yeah, just you know, goat cheese. Bell pepper spread. Oh, it's hot. Just Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so they're tiny and pretty. They are. They're adorable. Mm hmm This would be great mm -hmm. as part of a brunch buffet too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's so hot. <laughs> they are. They're warm. Mm. So about how many of these would this mixture fill? Uh, this will fill, uh, we, if we can be, you know, if we had more time, we could be a little bit more generous to fill. Um, I think probably, how many here? Can you count for me? Oh, sure. <laughs> there are probably about a dozen, because there's uh -huh. usually a dozen per box. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh. Yeah, roughly a dozen. So it looks like we could probably fill six or seven or eight more of mm -hmm. these, which is perfect for a little dinner party. Mm -hmm. and of course, you can always double the recipe. So once these are all filled up, I know my, mm -hmm. one of my favorite ingredients goes okay. on top, correct? Yeah, you can help me if you like. So I'll sure. just put some uh, mozzarella cheese, or as I love Spanish camarano cheese. Spanish camarano oh, cheese? Yeah, I've never heard of that. Is that a cow's milk uh, cheese? Yes, and they're mild. Mm. And uh, wonderful. Where do you find it? Uh, from, um, you know, grocery store? Cheese department. When you look, you know, special, you know, especially some stores, you know, they're they have more varieties in cheese. Oh wow! And or Parmesan would be good too. But anything melts quick, mm -hmm. makes it wonderful. And tastes good. Mm -hmm. So here are our excellent. Cups. And All so we done. pop them in the oven. We pop them in a three hundred fifty. And about how long? Just uh, until 15, 20 minutes. Oh until really? Cheese melts because we cook the chicken. Oh, excellent. Done. Okay.